There we go. Hi guys. I am here. I am very late. I know you might be a little confused. <laughs> Verified Psycho, thank you so much. You literally straightened off the first, not even, it's literally been a minute and 15 seconds in with a, a resub. Thank you so much for resubbing for three months in a row. Cannot believe it's been that long. I have been very inactive in Twitch, so I'm sorry I've not been by to visit. I uh, definitely need to go check out what you've been up to. Let's go scope your shit out. How you been? Oh, I guess you're lurking, so I won't ask you any questions. Uh, open this thing. Let's open the thing. Open link and new tab. Um. Oh, you're live right now, bro. Bro, bro. That's crazy. Um, your title today, I don't know if you guys have ever seen Verified Psycho streams before. Um, his titles are always really long, but usually insightful or thought-provoking. Today's is, you have brains in your head, you have feet in your shoes, you can steer yourself any direction you choose. That's cute! I love that. Really love that. Hi, Stax. How you doing? Nice to see you. Uh, I just wanted to come on. I'm not on for very long today because um, I am in a hotel and I have to check out in like two hours. So, but I thought I'd come on and, and say hey um, and apologize for standing all of you guys up on Valentine's Day. Um, I think the best way for me to put this is like I was gonna write a thing in the discord but I think it was just easier just to come on stream and talk for a minute but um, I think I'm going through like not a midlife crisis but um, I'm having a lot of emotional problems and uh, I'm trying to manage them so um, part of that is like managing uh, my time and looking at how I'm spending my time and the things that are making me feel that way and I think it's just I've kind of overloaded myself and uh, actually it's pretty weird um, I did my very first tarot card reading on myself today this morning and uh, that was what it mentioned was that they were you know I was over overburdened um, um, overwhelmed just have too many things going on so January, when I came into doing 31 Days of Hot Tub Streams, was a really cool thing for me. I really enjoyed that opportunity um, to share with you guys every day. It was very challenging. I know I've talked about that multiple, multiple times. Probably going to talk about it almost every other stream. But I think for me, um, I have to work on taking Twitch a little less seriously. Um, not that... Not that it's like dominating my life, but I think sometimes I dive in too deep to things and then I like I build momentum, you know, like being on stream for 31 days and not having any kind of schedule again was like, um, it's like being on two different levels. And so when February was coming and I was like thinking like, what am I going to do to maintain the stream? Like, what am I going to do to like, you know, keep up this momentum? I came up with Fitness February. And then I just got really stressed out about it. Like, it just, um, I don't know. I feel like I'm a fit person, but I, I also feel like my fitness knowledge is, like, relatively limited to, like, the things I've just learned over time, which is, like, a decent amount of knowledge, but I don't feel like enough to really, like, guide a whole month through. So I was, like, doing a lot of research and doing, you know, all this stuff, and I just, <laughs> I just said it was too much, and... So that's why I kind of bailed out on that, and I was like, you know, I'll just come back for Valentine's Day when I have some time to collect myself, because I knew I was going to be in Arizona for a couple days, and uh, Valentine's Day being one of them. But I just, I think I just kind of hit, like, a point where it wasn't fun, and so I just kind of bailed on it. But... I've been doing um, some good stuff in the meantime, uh, even though I haven't been doing Fitness February with you guys, I've kind of been doing my own Fitness February. Um, started like, I'd say a week ago, I started going um, and just walking or making like 
trips as short as like 20 minutes to the gym um, just to encourage myself to like get out of my house or get out of the, the spaces I'm in and uh, spend some time with myself and nature and you know um, those kind of things and it's been really good for me um, on an emotional level uh, I use yesterday I had to go to a trip to Tucson when I've never been to Tucson and so I drove up there I had like a 10 minute appointment with uh, the global entry people at TSA or the Border Patrol or whatever and um, yeah, that's literally the only reason I had to go out there is stupid. So, like, I have pre-check because you guys know I travel a lot. And it expires in April. So, the oh, I needed to get it renewed. But then I, you know, once I travel internationally, I decided to get global since global includes pre-check. And um, the only thing about these things, you have to interview in person, which is so stupid. Like, I don't know why in, like, 2022 we can't do, like, Zoom, Zoom meetings. But basically, there's a center like an hour from me that I could have gone to, but the next appointment's not until like July. So the closest one that was like the only one, let me clarify, the only one that was even relatively close, and I still had to drive four hours to get there. Um, <laughs> the only relatively close that had an availability date before my TSA pre-check expires was in Tucson. So I decided to make a whole trip out of it, and I got my ass out um, and did some things. I didn't do a whole lot. I drove over there. I took my time. I called some friends that I haven't caught up with. So usually I usually use my car rides for because I don't get a lot of time to sit down and just talk to people. I, mean, I guess outside of Twitch. And, um, <laughs> and um, I guess I'm not making the time. I'm going to put it that way. And anyways, I, I did that. It was like a quick... 10 minute, five minute appointment and uh, moved on to a hike. I found uh, this really short hike. It wasn't, it wasn't that challenging. I <laughs> kind of got lost at one point and made my own trail somehow in this small hike I did, but made it up to this tall mountain and it was honestly super cool. It was this like mountain park area, like smack in the middle of like Tucson. So you climb all the way up and you can just see like the cityscape all around you and like the mountainscape to the side and the mountains behind the city. So you're watching the cars go by from this giant point. It was so nice. It was really refreshing. And I um, sang some songs and I talked to myself. Uh, I don't know, being outside by myself alone just made me feel comfortable and talk to myself out loud. It's just kind of weird, but... Anyways, I did that. I found this cute store um, that sells like local artistry stuff from Tucson and fell in love with an artist. So I kind of splurged and bought myself some stuff I shouldn't have. Well, not that I shouldn't have, but I didn't really need. And then traded myself to this really, really nice restaurant I found um, the Google and had like um, a nice like hour and a half dining experience. Truly, I just took it easy. I've been taking it easy. And I was going to stay in Tucson, but I have to make my way back to California today. So it was either make the six hour drive all in one or break it up a little bit. And I decided to break it up by landing in Phoenix. Actually, I'm in Scottsdale technically, but... Um, I got my ass up this morning, did a mini hike. Actually, if, if you want to see the little hole I went to, you can check it out on my Instagram story. And um, sat in the hot tub, got a good stretch in, and now I'm honestly feeling so ready for the day. I just need some food. I need some snacks. Hi, Reggie. Nice to see you. How are you doing? Rome! Good morning! Well, it's not morning for you anymore, is it? Is it? I don't know. Thank you so much for the resub. How are you doing? Everyone was saying that the song or the track you had yesterday was really good, and I was really butthurt that I, I didn't get a chance to hear it, but I was in a, a really nice restaurant yesterday, and I was trying not to look like completely out of place. It definitely looked out of place, but not completely out of place. It was very nice, and I was underdressed and alone, and very young, 
But you know this place was good because like I went to go have dinner at 5.30, guys. 5.30. It's on, on like a, what was today? A Thursday? 5.30 on a Wednesday, guys. There's no specials for the food. It's, it's just the regular menu. And it is packed. And everyone has a reservation. Luckily for me, um, being solo, they found this small table that I could, like, be be by myself by a window and it was really nice um i enjoyed some really delectable food it was all healthy minus dessert but creme brulee is my favorite so i couldn't i couldn't help myself hi bouncy beaver where have you been i know you're thinking the same thing <laughs> i think most people tune into fitness streams to watch a pretty girl work out rather than getting actual fitness advice well, I think I think um, streamers like to live in this lala land where um, sometimes we view the situation in a light we'd rather see them in. <laughs> um, I don't know. I, I just like to think that like if I'm gonna work out on stream, I want to be working out hard. But also, the truth is, is that when I work out myself, I don't push myself very hard. If I go to a class, if I have a trainer, man, I really, I, that's where honestly I hit my personal records or do my, my best is when I have someone being like, okay, you have to do this and I'm going to stare at you while you're not doing it to make you want to do it. And like, you know what I'm saying? Like the, uh, it makes me feel obligated. Like, it's kind of like, it's really hard for me to do things for myself sometimes, but super easy to do those, some of those same things for other people. And so I feel like when I'm in a class, or with a trainer, it's like, I'm almost working out to, ha to make them happy, as weird as that sounds. <laughs> you agree. The Japanese call it a forest bath, where you get out in nature to recharge your batteries. Honestly, it's kind of hard. It's kind of hard because, like, I, I do enjoy it, and the weather's been super nice. It's been, like, actually kind of cold. But I can deal with that because I'm not sweaty. Mmm. Also, it does make me nervous being alone, but I've been going to pretty safe places, like at normal times, and there's like other, a lot of other people out there, so I feel more safe. But, um, I don't know, it's kind of hard to just be in the moment sometimes. Like when I'm hiking, I spend a lot of times looking down at the ground, making sure I don't trip and die, because even on flat surfaces, like even when I'm not on hikes, I'm, I'm tripping myself. So I really have to be observant. Um... So in those moments, I find myself like staring at the rocks, but also thinking about other things. It's not really until I've stopped somewhere and I look around and I take a minute to like take a deep breath in and breathe out and just, you know what I'm saying? That I feel like I'm getting the benefit. And I'm probably benefiting anyways. I mean, really, my goal for Fitness February for myself is just to get in the habit of getting out. And it's not necessarily about like doing the strongest workout, having the most effective workout or the most effective workout schedule or all that stuff. I think it's just too much for me to manage right now. But just, um, I don't know, adding, adding some kind of um, active stuff to my, to my routine. Still morning for, okay, so you're only two hours ahead. Yes. Hello, Marco. How are you? Hi, Nick. What was the dessert? The dessert? Oh my god, creme brulee. Creme brulee is my favorite dessert in the entire world. Oh, uh, thinking about it now is making me my mouth water. It's actually been really cool. Like, uh, I've been really, like, treating myself. Um... Um, sorry, I, I got so distracted. Oh, uh, <laughs> I've been treating myself to some good food. I mean, I really only went to one restaurant yesterday. <gasps> oh, how could I forget the grocery store? Oh my god, I went to this grocery store in Tucson downtown, and it was so adorable. It's like literally on the main strip where the restaurants and the little boutique shops are and stuff. And they had hot food, and they had cold food, and they had like, um, like it was tiny. It was tiny, but it was bigger than I expected it to be. 
it was like all natural stuff, all organic, well not all organic, but mostly organic stuff, locally farmed stuff. And it was really cool there, like, so you could buy like seasonings and teas and just all kinds of stuff like that. Like, um, but they sold them not in like bottles, you know, like when you go to Walmart, they have them little bottles or little like packages, like it's pre-packaged. There it's just in mass in like these containers and you just take what you want into a little bag and you weigh it out and... I love that, you know, especially for ingredients when our recipes and they call for an ingredient you never use. Oh, that'd be so helpful. I really enjoyed it. Actually, I got this. I'm going to snack on it now. That's why I was thinking about it. I got this um, cashew coconut bar. You can tell they make it in house because they like wrapped it. Um, I got a big one yesterday because I was hungry and now I'm like, mm, I don't know if I'll eat all this, but we'll give it, we'll give it a shot. It's got brown rice crisps. Brown rice crisps, millet, oats, coconut, cashew butter, honey, almonds, cardamom, and sea salt. Oh. Hopefully it's delicious. I really want to like this. I don't think I do. I don't know, maybe I'm not giving it a real shot. Mm. Mm. Your homies in fitness and health? Have wholesome streams. Obviously, there are some probably some weird, probably some weirdo lurkers, but they never really interrupted the stream. Well, I guess that's all you can ask, right? If you're gonna be a weirdo, be a weirdo in, in private. As long as you're not hurting anybody, you know. I mean, secret is yours. Yes, yeah, always done. I remember actually. I think the very first fitness stream I ever saw was because you, um. Rated a fitness stream one time, Rome. Hi, Cajun. Hi, Big Phil. You've been doing aquatic therapy? What is that? Is that swimming? Are you swimming in the river? Are you taking baths? Mm, have you found a hot tub? Oh my goodness. Anonymous. Thank you so much for the $30 donation. Really appreciate it. We'll definitely go towards <laughs> more snackies today. <laughs> Actually, I'm thinking about hitting up Waffle House. Either Whataburger or Waffle House. I kind of want both, but I know I won't be able to eat both. Because they're both in town. Well, they're still like 20-minute drives, but they're both in town and a lot closer than from where I live. But I don't know. They're both like not, not good food for you, you know? You hit a three miler yesterday? Rome, good for you. How many miles have you done so far this year total? You bought a set of ramekins just so you can make creme brulee at home? See, Cajun, that's the problem, is that I know creme brulee is not too hard to make, but if I had the canisters and the ingredients to make it, I probably would be eating it way too much. See my mouth? You can't see. My mouth is watering. Uh-huh. You're totally feel. oh my god, yeah, I bet. I bet if three miles you're feeling it. Like, I just did, like, I've been doing, like, one mile and, like, two mile. Or even today, I just did, like, a half a mile hike. You know, really short hikes. And, um, they're kicking my ass. So, <laughs> I understand. The weather is super nice in Phoenix. It's kind of cool. It's sunny. Um, I remember when I was driving into, uh, sorry, Tucson, it was very like cloudy and bright and beautiful. It's interesting. I don't usually see a lot of clouds where I live, so it was uh, nice. Today, honestly, it was like kind of cool, but again, sunny. I'm sure it'll warm up as the day goes on. Probably perfect weather for you guys who like don't like the blazing 
a key to hell. Go on another hike, smoke some wacky weed, it'll taste great. Well, I mean, I did think about going to, um, so I have a four hour drive into the desert, um, but I am going to try to stop, uh, try to see if there's like any like parks or like walking areas that are like safe in between the two, um, where I don't feel like I'll get like, you know, scooped up and then I'll be like the next murder mystery where they don't know where I went, but I just, they found my car ominously in the middle of the desert. So I'll be very careful. Don't worry. I'm very aware of those kind of things. Very scary, right? But I'm, <laughs> I'm going to try to make, take it easy today. Like, I don't know when I'm going to head to California. I just don't have to be there today. Probably, probably like the afternoon, probably go to California at like two. Enjoy some more time in Phoenix since I've only been here for, I think I got to Phoenix. Oh, 12 hours ago. Yeah. What do I give it out of 10? Um, honestly, that bar is like a five. It's not inedible. If I was extremely hungry, I'd probably like it more, but you know, what can I say? Oh. Aquatic therapy is like going, like doing yoga slash calisthenics in the pool so you don't feel the weight on the joints. Oh, I love that. I did something like that today. Like I did my, my stretching, my yoga uh, in the hot tub today because it's like they have this giant, dude, it's like a 30 person hot tub. It's huge. It's huge. It's like the size of like a pool, a normal pool. And so there was plenty of space for me to spread out and stretch and do my thing and nobody was there. It was like all alone. All by myself. Like that, you know. Uh, why not both? That is a lot. You've done 32.5 miles out of 300. That's crazy. That's, that's almost a mile. Oh God, yeah, that's almost a mile a day. That's wild. Wait, and you strap balloons to your ankles so you can do stretches without a lot of resistance? Balloons to your ankles? Interesting. I didn't know that part. Is it like, like little floaties, like you give little babies? Not that you're a baby, but you know, that's what I'm envisioning. I'm envisioning little floaties. Oh, you didn't tell, you performed for the first time in two plus years? Oh my God, where? How did it go? Did you have someone to perform with you? Oh no, I'm asking too many questions. Okay, I'm gonna slow down. I'll let you answer, let you do the thing. <laughs> did you hike Saddleback? I, I, R, C from the couple of times I've been in the Phoenix slash Scottsdale area. It's kind of the main hike in the region. Saddleback? I don't think so. I think that one's, so I was looking at the hikes. There are some hikes. No, I think Camelback is the one that's like extremely hard. There's like some really extreme hikes here, apparently. And I'm not an extreme hiker, y'all. I am a, I am a beginner. I don't even have hiker shoes. Camelback, yeah. So I, Camelback's supposed to be really like intense. I'm not down for that yet. I'm like, when I see a two mile hike, I'm like, mm, am I really this adventurous today? Like that's a long hike for me, you know? You take rest days like today? Yes. That's what I justified myself. I, I went to this, I went to the hole I told you guys about and I found out the hike was really short. And so I was like, well, I'll, um, I was like, should I go to another, another park and, and try to do another hike? But I'm on a time constraint because I have to like pack up this hotel and leave at 11.30. So I was like, I want to come back and stream and check on everybody and say hello and then know I'm alive and well and on camera and everything. So, um, yeah, I decided not to and just give myself a break day today. But who knows, maybe I'll change my mind and find a workout class in California. I don't know. The day is still so young. I'm not used to being up and functioning this early in the morning. Like, I went to bed last night at like 12, 1 o'clock and naturally naturally woke up at like five, six in the morning. And I was like, huh, I don't do this. What's going on? But it's been great. And I woke up in a good mood and I was happy. 
I'm so glad I could bring my best version of myself here today with you guys. What is IIRC, to be honest? I don't know what that means. I'm going to look it up. Internet say IIRC means, if I remember correctly. Okay, yes. Have you been to Arizona? You performed at an open mic here in town. Nice, like, crowd. Oh, my God. That's amazing. Did you meet any other really cool artists? Maybe some new people to collaborate with? I feel like those events are uh, really good for artists, not just to put themselves out there, but to meet other creatives, other like-minded people who are on your path or, um, you know what I'm saying? Maybe hear a new influence of music somewhere. Pretty much little floaties, but you hold them underwater, resistive to keep them underwater, but use them for stretches when you release the resistance, if that makes sense. I think so. I think so. I'm going to look it up on Google. Oh, the little tubey things. That's cool. I see, I see, I see. Okay, okay, okay. They look more adult than I thought they would be. I'm like a little... I'm still enthused, but I'm a little less enthused. I was expecting them to be a little, I don't know, more childlike. I've been a couple times, saw the Grand Canyon once, but both times were in the Phoenix area with Camelback in view. You're out of shape. Oh, you're out of shape, sister. Hiked it with a couple of friends, so you're sure you can handle it. Uh, maybe. Okay. I would be down with some friends. Like, I've gone on some, like, hikes I probably wouldn't have gone on if I didn't have friends. But not by myself. Um, I'm trying to think. What part of the Grand Canyon did you see? I saw the Grand Canyon, but I don't know what part I went to. I don't remember. You did okay for two years of rust. I can send you the scuff footage I caught. Yes, I would love to see it. Is it on your social links? It probably is. Let me go, let me go look it up. I like your website that you have on Solo Toe. It's really clean. So, if I had to guess, maybe Twitter? No, you didn't put, oh, did you post it on Twitter? No, you did not post it on Twitter. Dang it. Okay, I give up. I know you have all these other socials. I don't want to look right now. I tried. I will find it later. Oh, Instagram. Psh. I should have known. Instagram, it's the jam. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Oh my god, look at you! You tell them, you tell them, Rome. More noise than that. Keep, get them bitches yelling. <laughs> Alright, I love you people, but I want to hear your song. What happened? I'm so confused. Wait, what? What just happened? Why is it? That's so weird right now. 
I don't know where this music's coming from. Yo, where's this music coming from? Oh. <laughs> Let's get to the good stuff. No, too far. There we go. Why do I keep happening? Okay, well, I guess I'll have to watch it later because it, my, my computer is telling me no. But I'll watch it later on my phone, which, which it's more cooperative. It was the South Rim, the most visited Grand Canyon locale, but probably the best views. The South Rim. I don't think I made it that part. I don't think I made it to that part. You were just cringing. Cringing at what? At what? There's nothing to cringe about. You did amazing, I'm sure. I didn't get to see this whole thing, but I'm sure you did amazing. Ama amazing. I wish I could speak. My mouth does not want to do the mouth things. <clears throat> what was I? Why am I a scatterbrain? Uh, history. Yes. There we go. There we go. I was like, where'd my dreamy ethereal, where'd a, a magical land music go? Oh, you, you know we're our, own, we're our own worst critics. No, I understand. Trust me. Every time, like, I, I, I accidentally forget to mute um, the, the volume when I'm on stream and I hear myself, I'm like, oh, why? <laughs> why? Comic guy, good morning to you too. I'm doing amazing today. Honestly, today has been really refreshing. I I did a lot this morning. Well, I've done a lot in my mind. I've done a lot yesterday. And it's all been stuff that I've wanted to do. It's all been like new to me. It's all been an exploration. It comes to an end today, but it's been really good. <laughs> Hi, name the hero. If I had to name a hero, okay, what, wait, which hero in particular are we naming? Or renaming? Because they already have names. <laughs> uh, how are you today, comic guy? I don't think I asked you. I'm sorry. I think I've heard that even big name actors and musicians cringe at their own footage, so that doesn't mean everyone else was cringing. Oh, well, that's true. I, I, I'm very aware that like uh, things that I like, I like Rome is saying, we're on our we're, we're all our own worst critics, and we all view ourselves very differently than the world views us. Even like outside of like our arts and our talents and the things we put out in the world, just you know. When, I, when you see me walking down the street, you don't know me. Like, you perceive me very differently than, you know, I perceive myself as I know myself. So, it makes sense. It does. Every time you watch something of mine back, you're like, I should have done that better. I think... I think you... You mean... Okay. On one end, it's like there's always room to improve, but on the other end, I think it's just like, but you did it. Like, yeah, you could have done better, um, and that's why we all work towards our craft, right? You know, uh, whatever we do, you can always do better, but hey, motherfucker, at least you got up and did it. <laughs> yes! Exactly. Should have done better is better than looking back at all the things you never tried think you should have given it a shot. You're absolutely right, Melis. We are echoing each other this morning. 
Hi, Zen. I am, I'm better today. I'm so much better today. I think it's all coming together. I'm trying to, <laughs> oh, I don't know what I'm doing right now. I've got to be better about giving myself credit, but then when I do, I'm like, I'm not going hard enough. I think that's, I, I live in that world too, of like a world of limbo. Um, a lot, I honestly, I'm really an uncertain person about myself and a lot of things like that, but, um, what was the point in that? But I think it's like, um, because you have the balance between like, am I, by praising myself, am I settling? Am I settling? For, you know, am I lying to myself and saying this is good when it's not good and I feel like it's not good? Um, are other people lying to me when people say this? Or, you know, am I really, you know, am I really that naive to how good I am? Am I really, you know, not seeing things other people are seeing? And so, you know, I think that teeter-totter is, is natural. Totally normal. And I am getting comfortable with those and like staying strong and like knowing what you know you know there's your feelings and then there's what you know right but knowing that like your hard work and your efforts and all these things are are paying off and um, seeing that come to fruition will help you kind of discern where you are nope you're already perfect in your own way i love that zen love that for you Ooh, did you get some good chocolate for Valentine's Day? I meant to go. So I was thinking, uh, <laughs> my plan for Valentine's Day was I was going to do chocolate roulette. I was going to buy some boxes of chocolate, some cheap boxes of chocolate, and, like, um, sell them. Or, sorry, eat them. And, and kind of, like, see which ones were good and which ones were bad. But then I didn't. So maybe next year. I mean, they might still have Valentine's Day candy for sale at Walmart somewhere. But I know, like, all the single people flock to, like, val like, sorry. All the single people flock to Walmart after Valentine's Day to get all the discounted ch candy and chocolates. Um, so we're, I'm going to stay on stream for like another 20-ish minutes today, guys, and then I am going to get out of here. I think, I think I'm going to go to Waffle House. No. Yes, I'm going to go to Waffle House. Because I know, um, Whataburger is going to stop selling my honey butter chicken biscuit in like an hour, and I still want to, um... I still want to do some things before I check out of this hotel, so. Waffle House it is. I'm going to get some hash browns and probably um, uh, a bacon cheesesteak melt. Oh my god, I'm getting so hungry just talking about it. Since I ate so good yesterday, I ate so many greens, I deserve, I deserve a bad meal. You bought yourself some dark chocolate cherry liquors? Interesting. Oh, is it like, um, like it's the one that has like, uh, the alcohol, like the alcohol billing? Is that what it is? Or is you, are you talking about like those little like chocolates with like the little cherries in them? It's like syrupy? When they turn up, they have leaked. No! What a disgrace. You gotta contact this company and be like, yo, you ruined my Valentine's Day with your leaky fluids all over my box. Waffle House for the win, yes. I know, I don't have a Waffle House where I live, and so I just, 
I've been dreaming about those hash browns. I'm going to get a large. I'm going to get a giant. Um, I got to retain uh, the saliva. <laughs> I'm going to a large hash brown with so many things on it. And it's going to be so amazing. Have you eaten breakfast yet, Reggie? With alcohol filling? Uh, to be honest, I'm not a big fan of chocolate with alcohol filling in it. Mm. But I think also the last time I had it was probably when I was younger. I don't think I've had any alcohol chocolates as an adult. <laughs> as weird as that sounds. Do you have a Waffle House near you, Rome? Mm. <laughs> Come on, Rome. I think I think you'd really get their attention with those with with that commentary. Uh, I actually but I did buy myself some chocolates, but I, I didn't get myself. Well, I bought two kinds. I bought one chocolate box that says it's from Belgium and Belgian made and the box says it's from, produced in Belgium so I was like okay and then I got what is it Godiva which says it's Belgian chocolate but it's produced in like the US and I will say the Belgian stuff is definitely better but it was the same price which is like very bizarre um hi Disney nice to see you <laughs> how was your trip Yes, the more, the merrier. Not New Year, they're usually on the road. Oh, yeah. Dang, oh, that's right. I guess, I guess DC is like, I mean, I don't know. Okay, sometimes people call, like, I, I know the South is like West Virginia and Virginia and all of them and stuff like that, but to me, that's the North, like, where I'm from. But I know there's not a lot of, like, Wobble houses like in the northern region. Hi, Kevin. How are you? How you doing? Nice to see you. No wobble houses near you either, but the UK not so popular. Are there any wobble houses in the UK? Wobble house UK. Ooh, there is one. There's one in um. Uh, St. Michael's, no, sorry, St. Albans, Kingbury Watermill. Yeah, the way y'all do y'all's addresses are so confusing to me. So in the U.S., it's like, um, our addresses is like, your house has a number, right? And then you're, the number of your house plus the street plus, like, the state you live in, then the country, or sorry, the zip code, which is, like, the region within the state, and then your country you know if you need to put that or sorry city yeah city your state so it's all like it's like incremental it's like first you're starting off with the smallest thing like the number of the house then you're looking at like what street the house is on then you're looking at what city the house is on and then you're looking at what state the house is on and then you're looking at you know what i'm saying like to me that makes sense but like the way y'all have it is always so confusing it's like all your buildings have names instead of numbers so it's just, uh, I don't know how you guys manage that. Probably could find one in Southern Virginia, but don't fuck around with Southern Virginia. What's wrong with Southern Virginia? I've never been. I don't know. I don't know the secrets. What's good? Driving 10 plus hours. Wait, sorry. 10 plus drive hours of driving each day, but got there. Oh my goodness. You are a trooper for that one. Uh, I've got to do four hours today and I'm dreading it. <laughs> Much less 10 um, more for more than one day. That is some real dedication right there. Some real dad shit. This week I'm packing everything into a moving trailer, then flying out on a Sunday morning. Are you moving? Are you moving? I didn't know you were moving. <laughs> I forgot I made that timer. <laughs> There's a 
lack of hands in chat. I know it's dangerous. Let me put one in chat because you guys know I have hands. I can't hide them. <laughs> uh. Wow, Disney. That's a, that's a crazy move. Uh, and moving is such a pain in the butt. Um, all my well wishes to you on that. When I did my last move, it was my first giant move uh, across the country. And that was just a lot. And I used a moving company and had all these issues. And it's like... One, I don't think I'll ever use a moving company again unless I'm very wealthy and can just, I don't know, have it, like, save it in a storage area for second furniture in case it never comes or it comes really late like it did for me. But also, I don't think I ever want to move back across the country. Like, I don't think I ever, ever, ever want to take all my stuff and move to the east part of the country ever again. Not that I don't want to live in the east part of the country at some places or some points in my life. I'm, like, down to check it out. But hauling all that stuff was just a pain. It's a lot. And then just moving in general, like settling into a new place and changing all your new things over and getting a new library card if you're into libraries like I am. Actually, I should check out the library here. Phoenix Library. It's a good idea. It's got to go to Barnes and Nobles, but why not just use public resources? Because I got good reviews. They don't let libraries have reviews? Can you not review? Well, oh, okay, you can. They were just hiding their reviews from me. They were in secret. Ooh, this one's named after a, a cactus. Makes me want to go. Locations and hours. When was the last time you guys went to a library? What's the occasion for the hotel modeling gig? Actually, no. I um, I had to go out to Tucson and I made like literally for like a five minute appointment. It was so crazy. So I drove four hours out there and um, I have to make my way back to California today. So the route is either, um, you can either go towards California, like, like from Tucson west down parts of, to the lower part of Arizona and then up, or you can go up through Phoenix and then up from there. So I went up through Phoenix, I stopped here for the night, and I'm actually checking out in an hour or so, so. Yes, it's actually interesting, it's weird um, traveling with no purpose, no real purpose. Like I've just been exploring Tucson and um, Phoenix briefly, just a couple hours, both you know, each day, and um, it's been really enjoyable. But also like interesting not to have anything I really have to do or any time I, ha I have to do things or a place I have to be or somebody have to see. It was very nice. I use this time to be kind of like antisocial. Uh, not that. Uh, I mean, I would say I'm more, I've been more social to strangers than I usually do. Like, when I went on my hikes, like, I would say good morning and saying hello, and usually I don't do things like that, but um, outside of that, like, I haven't hit any bars, I didn't have any, I haven't had any alcohol on this little personal trip, which is an interesting um, realization, and uh, yeah, it's been good. You haven't been to a library since university? The best way to travel sometimes? Um, I, I've honestly really enjoyed it. And then some parts of it is stressful. Um, I feel like I've also realized like um, being able to do things on a whim is a luxury because things are more expensive. Um, you know, obviously when you book things in advance, like prices are cheaper and makes things a lot more affordable versus like just kind of you know, going wherever your wind sails and, or you know, what the wind takes you and um, I'm grateful to have that opportunity. What's a Lundi Gras? I've never even heard of that before. 
I am very strong. Are you strong? Do you flex your muscles on a regular basis? Is it like their version of a Mardi Gras? I've never been to Mardi Gras either, to be honest, y'all. I have a challenge for you. If you can do 10 standard push-ups for a sub at the channel, do you accept? Um, I'll be real honest. I don't know if I can do 10 push-ups. But if you will drop five subs in advance, I will... I will try really hard. I will I will do as many push-ups until I do a real push-up to make 10. <laughs> so at least sounds slightly like my recent self-exposed unemployed life, except that you except that to remain unemployed indefinitely, you also have to live in poverty indefinitely. The reason you go back to work is so you can afford the aimless travel life and not work anymore. <laughs> um, I mean, if you're in a place where you can live, I, got, I remember we talked about this before that even though you don't have a lot of money, you have enough to, um, sorry, that you have enough money to like keep living, but you just wouldn't live, um, extremely comfortably. Uh, or comfortably at all. I guess, I don't want to say uncomfortably because clearly like, you're living this life now and like you're fine with that. I think maybe if you're, fi if you're fine with where you are, I mean, I think in that case you really don't have much to lose in like trying new jobs and, and trades and things and for like personal fulfillment. Unless you just have like a million dollar idea, like get it out there, baby. I need to start calling million dollar ideas like billion dollar ideas because I feel like million dollars just does not mean what it used to. Mardi Gras on Tuesday, Lundy's on Monday. You already have your crawfish boil on Lundy Gras. Oh my god, I'm so sad. I'm going to miss it. I'm so sad. Truly. Five push-ups equals two subs. Ten push-ups for three subs. If you... Yeah, if you want to give two subs, I'll do five push-ups. And then I'll trust you to give me the other five... Or the other sub for the other five. How about that? How about that? Work my ass out. I didn't know, like, where does, where does Mardi Gras come from anyways? I really don't know the history of this. I think, I, I mean, I've been to New Orleans around Mardi Gras, but I've always missed it. I will be in New Orleans next month, though, for a couple days. Um, I'm literally going to New Orleans um, with some of my friends to go enjoy some crawfish, and then I don't know what else. Literally, the only thing I, I only thing I have to do when I'm in New Orleans is uh, eat crawfish. That's the only thing I, I like destined myself to do there. It's the only reason I'm going there. So I'm really excited. It's another Catholic thing. I was going to say, uh, act like a, a jackass if we're acting all innocent for, for 40 days. I guess. I was going to say, when I think of Mardi Gras, I definitely don't think of the Catholics. <laughs> I mean, I guess if you go crazy, then you, it's easy to give something up. It's like, well, you know, I did this, 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 and this, and I only have to give up one thing, so it's fine. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I definitely want to do Mardi Gras at some point in my life. Um... Probably sooner rather than later, because I know the older I get, the less tolerance I have for, for drunk people and the less amusing it is for me, but, and the less 
the older I get, the more I value like comfortability and like personal space and um, <laughs> things like that. Get all that sinning out of your system before you got to be holy again. Hey, I mean, if you don't commit sin, how are you going to ask for forgiveness? You got to give a, Jesus has a role in life. You know what I'm saying? You got to commit, you, you got to commit sin so you can be forgiven. There's, you can't get into heaven unless you've been forgiven. If you bruise easily, don't come. They throw doubloons at you. Oh, doubloons? Oh my god. So I need to bring a shield. Oh my god. I could do like a Captain America Mardi Gras theme. We could do like... I need to find an artist person right now. Who is a seamstress? We need to make a Mardi Gras colored Captain America sexy woman suit for Mardi Gras when I go. Bro. It would be the cosplays of all cosplays. They'd be very confused, but... <laughs> it's okay. I'll leave a very lengthy caption so they know what's going on. <laughs> do you? What do you do with the doubloons? Like, are they worth anything? Are they plastic? Like, are they chocolate? I must know. Sounds violent. Hmm. Oh, well, I mean, I've been on a few um, floats before in my life where you like parades where you throw things. It is kind of fun. But usually with the beads, I'm usually, I, when I have the beads, I try to like look at it like a bottle toss. I'm like, hmm, who can I ring around the neck? Well, that sounded horrible. Who can you, but you know what I'm saying. Like, who can I lasso with my little thing? Hi, Vic. Oh my God. Literally was just thinking about you yesterday. How is your, um, how's your bod going? So nice to see you. Some are chocolate. Then what are the others? <laughs> I must know. What are you most excited for, Batman or Morbius? I don't know who Morbius is. I, I am not involved in this culture. Let me look it up. Morbius. I guess Batman, because I don't know who Morbius is. Morbius is um, biochemist Michael Morbius tries to cure himself of a rare blood disease, but when his experiment goes wrong, he inadvertently infects himself with a form of vampirism instead. To be honest, that sounds more up my alley if I had to choose one. I don't know. Not that I'm super into vampires, but it does sound dope. I can dig it. Um, maybe. What are you more excited for, Kevin? Those parades are violent, throwing, oh my god, nuh -uh. Bro, if I was at a Mardi Gras parade and I caught a sex toy, I would be stunned. Like, I know they have those, like, necklaces with, like, the, the girls on it with, like, the, the, the boobs exposed. You know, I know those are very normal, but yeah. <laughs> I don't know about the other one. If they're edible beads, I mean... I'm get, I've never had uh, someone throw me candy beads before in a Mardi Gras parade. That's actually not a bad idea, except when they land on the floor. But I guess if you're touching them, it's also gross too, so they need to be in bags. But would also make them easier to catch, I think. And easy to save for later. Good going. Or oh, sorry, going good. I don't know why I read that wrong. Currently editing slash creating stuff for your next stream. Alert slash art sounds that kind of thing. You stream? You're streaming now? I know you were talking about getting ready to stream on uh, you're streaming now for real? Um Oh, I love you know what? I really love your background on your profile. Uh games, learn, code, chat. I, I really enjoy that and like you've add your Japanese flair in there. I love that. You're for <gasps> Your first stream was, what, two days ago, three days ago? That's amazing. I'm going to give you a follow, guys. Our fellow friend Vic is now a streamer. Looks like he was streaming Stardew Valley and maybe more Stardew Valley. <laughs> I remember, uh, Horizon, oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. 
I remember you recommended that game for our viewers' choice. I was really hoping to get it, but we did Pico Park instead. Morbius? Yeah, it sounds like a really interesting plot. Not that, not that Batman isn't cool, but Batman is like... Everyone knows Batman. Who knows Morbius? <laughs> More exciting. Hi, Rua. No pool in this hotel? There is a pool. And actually a giant, a giant hot tub. I've never seen a hot tub so big. It was super nice. I sat in it this morning, did a stretch, but I didn't want to stream out there. I wanted to have some privacy. You started on Valentine's Day. Ooh, see, Vic was here for the sub in, y'all. I didn't I didn't stand you guys up from Valentine's Day. I subbed in. Or Vic subbed in. <laughs> uh, do I have Patreon or Snapchat? Um, I don't, I used to have Patreon a long time ago. I don't have Patreon anymore. Uh, I'm thinking about relaunching my Patreon. Um, but I have not put together the works for that yet. Hopefully, my goal is by April to have a functioning site with Patreon. But we'll see. I still have to do things for Twitch. I do have an Instagram if you want to check out my socials or uh, my Twitter, which I never use, but it is there if you want to follow something. Oh, Vic, I love that. I really do. At first, I thought it was like the normal Twitch background that's like purple, and I was like, oh, wait, no. There's actual things. Pico Park is probably better content. I mean, it was really just um, strangers, like... So, like, the people who, I don't think, I don't think people in chat played with me. It was, like, strangers. And so, like, you know, we couldn't voice chat, and it was really interesting. And the entire time, <laughs> I love how, like, the the chat you have in Pico Park is, like, selected words. And it's all in caps, and it's all with exclamation. So when it's like, no, it's like, no. Because they were telling me no a lot, because I had no idea what was going on. It was great. Oh, you're gonna have a schedule? That'd be great. It'd be well. I'd say it'd be easier for me to catch you. It'd be kind of easier, kind of. I'm like not on Twitch a whole bunch, but I did follow you. So then I'll get the little alerts, and I'll be like, "Oh my God, it's big!" Instagram is lit. Yes, it is. It is very spicy, um, which I have to avoid spicy foods uh, because of my gallbladder. But if you don't have gallbladder problems, me by all means, check out my Instagram. Just be aware. It's very, very spicy. You would have played with me. It's okay, Vic. It's okay. I found people to play with me, and they showed me the way, even though <laughs> it was a struggle. It was adorable. Do I get gallstones? No. I'm very fortunate. I don't have gallstones. I don't have sludge. But every once in a while, my gallbladder is just like, blah. It puts me in the hospital for a day. But I found out it's not life-threatening. It won't kill me. And um, I don't have to have my gallbladder removed if I don't want to. So that's that. Of course, I'm making the exception when I get to, to uh, New Orleans. Because, you know, Cajun food, the spice, the flavor. Oh, my mouth. It's watering. Your IG and socials are all amazing. You don't even have any socials. Well, you literally just started like two days ago, Vic, of course. I mean, I've been doing my modeling stuff for several years now. So that's what helped me build that following. And uh, and that's pretty much like the main, the bulk of my following, just Instagram. Just Instagram. I mean, I made Twitter. I made my Twitter account the same day I made my Twitch account. So I really don't really understand Twitter a whole bunch. What about Reddit? I've used Reddit. Um, I made a Reddit for when I got put on live stream fails. Um, I made a Reddit so I could respond to people. But then by the time I responded, my post got taken down. So I don't think people saw my responses. I do use Reddit personally, but I use Reddit like a search engine. More than I, for than anything else, as weird as that sounds. 
You've never used Twitter for streamer or otherwise? Exactly, exactly. Like, I'm trying to figure out how to make Twitter useful um, outside of, like, I don't, I don't want to use Twitter and Instagram and all these places just another, like, announcement source. You know what I'm saying? You guys have notifications for that. You don't need to follow me on what's the places for me to tell you uh, nine times that I'm online, you know? So I'm trying to figure out a way to make it useful. LSF, you'll have to find the clip. I'll, I'll find the clip for you. It's... I'm not embarrassed. You can't shame me. Well, you can. I, I'm going to take that back because I'm, <laughs> I'm going to embarrass about things sometimes. But, um, what is it? Do, 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 This one. Yeah, I have a... Me eating grass? Oh, there's no videos of me eating grass. What? Where? Where is there a clip of me eating grass? I want to see this. There is. I, I think my top my top clips are. The one I just sent you, the live stream fail clip, and then uh, the new sub sound, and then interesting clip. So interesting clip is where I'm licking a towel, but it's just because nicotine got spit in my mouth. It was gross. Do not recommend. Do not recommend. Now you're hungry for grass. You can't even digest grass, guys. Cows can't even digest grass, and they have two stomachs. Well, actually, I take it back. I think they use their second stomach to finish digesting the grass, so that make, that's why they have two stomachs. But whatever. You know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. Matcha tastes like grass? No, it doesn't. Well, okay, I take it back. I've only had matcha sweetened. So, I mean, maybe. Do they have grass tea? I feel like the internet has everything. Hold on. Grass tea. I'm seeing lemongrass tea, but no grass tea. It's not a thing. That clip was amazing. The definition of failing upwards. <laughs> oh man, that was so interesting. I'm just, you know what? That 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 stream was was crazy to begin with, and um. Oh my God, Todd! Hi, baby. How are you? Thank you so much for the resub. I can't believe it's been two months. It's been it's been a while now. But uh, that, that whole thing was crazy because, like, the fact that, like, A, the, the little bucket I had in that champagne in uh, was a crock pot, right? And they're really heavy. So, A, glad it didn't shatter on my floor because that would have been horrible to clean up. Um, B, glad that my phone didn't fuck up. Like, I was still able to keep streaming after that, amazingly enough. The only thing that was wrong, I think, for, like, 15 minutes, my, the left side of the, my sound wasn't working. So you guys could only hear me on the right, which was weird, but I can keep the stream going and I didn't get injured like truly like a bless. Uh, what have you missed? Um, I just talked about what I've been doing. Um, yeah, what I've been doing, kind of catching up with everybody. We were talking about grass. <laughs> uh, Valentine's Day, we talked about um, just all kinds of little different things. They make that stuff at Jamba Juice where they cut off a chunk of grass from what looks like a piece of sod. Are you serious? Are you trolling me right now? Are you for real? Because I believe you. And that's crazy. Now, you've only had tea ceremony uh grade matcha 
and you were a weird kid, so you can confirm that it doesn't taste like grass. Oh, so Vic's not saying that he, um, Vic's not saying that he hasn't ate grass, but he's also saying that he's not saying he hasn't eaten grass. Noted. Oh, it's lemongrass. Oh, that's interesting. That's so cool. I didn't know they did that. I now kind of want, you know, honestly, I don't really like going anywhere but tropical smoothie. They put all these like proteins and stuff in it, but Jamba Juice now has me interested. I'm intrigued. I want to know more. How many pillows are in that bed? God, I hope at least it's at four. If it's at four at least. Yeah, it is four. Yeah, there are four pillows. And they're like big. This this hotel is actually really nice. I really like it. It's like, uh, it was more expensive than I wanted to pay for a hotel, to be honest. But it's in a safe part of town. And it's a really clean hotel. And it's safe. And it's nice. The bed's so comfy. So comfy. Like the, the decor on the inside is like cute. You can tell like it's an older place that they've like redone. And I like it. This is like somewhere I want to stay again in the future when I come back out here. But yes, we got all the pillows. That slightly wonky lampshade, yeah, so we have that one. They're all tilted, all the shades are slightly tilted. So this one and the one over here that's lighting up my face um, are the same. And there's a different one over there. But then it's kind of cool. They have like an orange chair to, to go with the orange shade. And like the curtains are like orange, white gray and brown sounds horrible but it's actually nice um i don't know i just i like i like the way they accented this place so how it accents my home but it is very cute what is your house like what is your home decor style todd hmm in the summertime you chew on grass to keep hydrated are you serious Cajun, I will just send you some water. I will I will send you a case of Evian water. It is my favorite water in the world. Um, yes. Stop chewing on grass. It's not good for you. <laughs> what do you do when you're done chewing it? You just spit it all out? Like, I don't understand. It's like, is it like dip, you know? Random fact, you actually worked at Jamba part-time back in college. Ooh, what are the things about Jamba Juice that the average... Uh, everyday public does not know. Tell us the details. Let us know the tea. Wait, is that on purpose? They might as well go crazy and make those white lines on the bed head wonky while they're at it. Well, I mean, I, I think it's not on purpose. I don't think the shades are all meant to tilt on purpose. I think they've just been fucked with. Because, like, I did the same thing this morning when I went to go turn on this shade. Is you know, most of the time, um, the switches are at the top, right? Like inside the shade. Well, all the modern lamps now have the, the switch at the bottom. So you can tell it's just a bunch of people reaching up into the lampshade, trying to like turn on the thing and realizing the thing's not there. It's at the bottom of the thing. I know I said the thing a lot, but you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> it's quite British and boring with slightly Asian elements. So you've got a British and Asian uh, a British, an Asian British, hmm, I don't know what I'm trying to say, like, okay, I don't know, it just sounds weird to say it like this, like, when I would say things, it's like, if I was to say, like, I'm, I'm an Asian American, right, but then it's like, what do you say for, like, an Asian, are you an e Asian English person, an Asian an Asian, I don't, what, do you, what do you call that? An Asian, uh, uk -er? <laughs> I don't know. An Asian British? It just sounds so bizarre to me. I don't know why it sounds bizarre to me. It just does. It just doesn't have that ring. You know? You can video and send you a DM of it someday? Yes, I would love to see the inside of your house. Um... That would be great. I'll start mapping up the things I want. <laughs> I'll, I'll hotlate them. 
I'll like X out the things you can keep or the things I don't like. <laughs> but I'll leave them in two different colors. So I'll leave like the things in like a red X, like things that you can keep and the things that I don't want. And then I'll just like leave like a a pink X, you know, oh no, pink's too close to red. A purple X, you know, because it's like a friendly X being like, oh, you can have this still. I mean, it's yours, but you can have <laughs> it. Don't go acting all jealous. Grass gets chewed, you eat salad, so someone told you that was healthy. Okay, but like, the internet will tell you you shouldn't eat grass. The internet is like, the internet is desperately encouraging Americans to eat leafy greens, but like, I don't think they meant grass. You also worked at Smoothie King and a couple others. Oh, you, so you're the smoothie guy. Vic, the smooth smoothie guy. The biggest thing is that they all claim to be the one and only to use fresh fruit and no juice from concentrate, but they literally all use fresh fruit and they all use juice from concentrate. Exactly. Exactly. Or it's like, you know, I'll watch them make it in that ominous pump. They all have an ominous pump that's like unlabeled. And it's like, usually like it's like stainless steel or something and it's like connected to the counter. And they just like, you know, they put in, you see them scooping the fruit and do all that stuff. And then, and the fruit doesn't even look fresh. It looks like it's all out of can, let's be real. And then it's like, um, they just like take it over to this like ominous pump and they pump a couple pot shots in it. It looks like sugar. But I'm like, why wouldn't you just have like, a normal pump with sugar. I don't know. It's always ominous. I'm always like, is that the secret ingredient? Is that the secret sauce they're putting in my smoothie? Always want to know what it is. Brasian? A <laughs> I don't know if I like those yet. Eurasian? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like when people say ABC or ABK and I go, huh? And realize they meant American born Chinese or American born Korean. Ah, ah. I've never seen those acronyms before, but I also, I guess it's just like, um, I don't know. I've never heard someone make a distinction of like a born, usually like American, China, like a uh, Chinese American or Korean American, which is like, you know what I'm saying? That's interesting. I look forward to you greeting my place. <laughs> I've never opened a can. Okay, good. that makes me feel a little bit better. But the pump is either sugar syrup or vanilla extract, depending on the place. Interesting, interesting. I don't know. I feel like every place has that ominous pump, and I'm like, hmm, what are you? But it, I don't know, because then it makes me feel like it's not that, because, like, I've gotten, like, so at um, Tropical Smoothie, you can choose between, like, real sugar or turbinado or Splenda and I've done like real sugar and I've done turbinado and they still make that weird pump in there and I know I didn't get nothing with vanilla in it so it's weird what are you anyways I'll find it out on the internet ABC is super common I've heard uh, ABG <laughs> but not ABC <gasps> I'm like where'd that slang even come from ABG why am I in Phoenix? Work, work, work. No, actually, I'm um, I'm headed up to go back to Palm Springs to um, continue the series of gigs. But um, no, I actually I had uh, an appointment in Tucson, like four hours away, and from where I live, and I uh, I got there. It was like a five minute appointment, and I was like, okay, let's make a trip out of this. So I does not so I don't have to drive back and be completely miserable. So. Since I have to go back to California today, I was like, I'll just drive up through Phoenix, stop there for the night, spend some time here during the day after I check out of my hotel, and then uh, carry on to California, you know, break it up. So it's honestly a little bit of leisure. It's nice. It's rare, but it's nice. Um, this year, I think I'm trying to take more time for leisure. I'm still going to travel for my gigs and you know, all these opportunities to network and everything, but this was like a, a really big, like, insight for me into like some of the things that I need. I guess I hear it a lot in the East Coast, where in the West there seems to be more Asian unity, like Asians stick together in Cali, but in New York, Asians and Koreans and SCAs don't hang out, Southeast Asians don't hang out. Um, I don't know, and I can't speak that experience either, because I've always lived in places that are very, that have a very small Asian population. 
I mean, I'm originally from the East Coast and haven't heard this, but also I'm from the South. And I'm just not, like I said, not a, a very densely populated, like Asian populated place. You know what I'm trying to say. East Asians and Koreans, but that's just your observation. And I mean, I know there are all like cultural differences too, like I'm from place to place, yeah. Any nice highlights? Did you have a wee stroll? <laughs> I love your slang. A wee stroll. So cute. Uh, the city and take in the sights and do the whole soul search mode that kind of happens randomly when you walk a bit. You did that when you were in LA, but you went on a public transport and it scared you. Yeah, LA is scary. Yeah, Tucson's nothing like that. Tucson's like um, a mix of like a rural town and a, a big city. It's like an in between. I really liked it. Um, I didn't get to spend much time there because, you know, I was trying to make it to Phoenix. Phoenix to Tucson's about two hours apart. So I did, I did like six hours of driving yesterday. No. Five, well, about six, yeah. It's crazy to think about. Um, but I went to a small grocery store and found some really delicious goods. They have like hot fresh food and cool prepared food and really interesting like salads and sandwiches even and just all kinds of like very like hip and like you know vegan and different options and stuff like that and then there's also a grocery store for like local foods and healthy foods and healthy snacks and was, uh, I could go on it's so cute and I found the store where I got a lot of art or not a lot but I bought this artwork I really liked and found a new artist I enjoy. I want to buy all her collection pieces. They're just so beautiful. But I'm not rich enough for that yet. Um, I had I went on a little hike. And got to see the whole city um, from the mountain. Which is really cool because it's like all around. The, the mountain is like in the city. So it's like literally like the downtown area I'm talking about. With the, little, the mini grocery store. And this little shops and boutiques and stuff like that. Was a, a 12 minute drive from the top of the mountain. It's that close. So you're at the top of the mountain. You can see the highway. You watch all the cars go by and the cityscape. And then it's cool because then beyond the cityscape, you can see the other mountains behind it. And uh, it was a, a really nice day. I really enjoyed that. I made, I, I went to a nice restaurant and treated myself to a delicious dinner. It was like also healthy and enjoyable. And then I came here to this hotel and, um, it's been really nice. I really like this hotel. I'm very picky about hotels. They get me, I get skeeped out really easily when I see weird reviews or, um, I'm really nervous about going to hotels in like bad neighborhoods. I don't want my car broken into because, you know, I rely on my car a lot to travel and, and to get myself around and do all these things and having a car mishap is a huge, huge issue for me. So always trying to make sure I'm in a safe place, especially traveling alone. And yeah, this place checked all the boxes and I was pleasantly surprised to find this giant 30 person hot tub out there in the pool area that looked clean enough for me to actually want to get in it. <laughs> yeah, it's been good. I made, I got my ass up this morning and went on a, a mini hike. It's like half a mile, really, really short and saw some really good views that the story, or I took some videos on my Instagram if you want to check it out. And then yeah, after this, I'm going to wrap up some stuff on my computer and go have a uh, breakfast lunch at Waffle House and I don't know, maybe make my way over. I haven't decided yet. When I lived in New York, I used to work at a Japanese company and go to a Korean church and they both routinely use ABC to refer to Asian American friends. They also use ABK and FOB often. That's interesting. Well, you know, like, like, I guess it makes sense. If that's like, if, you know, people create acronyms for things they say often. Goddamn, six hours of butt sitting and lower back pains. I hope you took breaks in the six hours of driving. Well, it was four hours there. And then I did walk around. I went on my hike, had my appointment, did all that stuff. And then two hours to, um, to Phoenix. So it wasn't that bad. And I called some friends and listened to some tunes and, um, I listened to the companion uh, podcast to the Tinder Swindler. It's on Spotify. It was super good. Really interesting insights. 
wrapped it up really quickly. <laughs> Actually, I need to call my library. As soon as I get off the stream, and I have to leave soon, unfortunately, um, I'm going to call my library because for whatever reason, my library card's not working and I can't um, rent audiobooks right now, which is super sad, especially because I'm making all these long trips and I love to listen and learn as much as my brain is willing to retain. <laughs> so, yeah. You think you have a friend, a group of friends from every country but your own. Wow. That's interesting. Mm, have you considered, like, reaching out in that department? You should post the photos if you took any. At the moment, your brain is processing it like the Simpsons landscape of Springfield. I haven't watched the Simpsons, but I have a vague idea of what you mean. Hotels are a good thing to be picky about. Yuki educated me on what a good hotel is since we started dating. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I bet. Um, as a woman, you know, we're very particular about certain things, but also, like, okay, I'd rather pay an extra $60 for a hotel, which honestly sucks. It cringing. Hurts me on the inside sometimes when I think about it, but bed bugs are so much more expensive uh, to get rid of and to deal with, and they're a pain in the ass, and they're gross, and, and having your car, like, busted into and, and broken is expensive. Several hundred dollars right there. Um, you just, like, all those things. All those things, especially if you get a hotel in like a decent part of town, um, that's close to things. You can get like, we can walk to places, save money on gas, Ubers, etc. So it's just the way you look at it, I guess. I'd like to see these fancy hotels as well. Can you post in the Discord? Oh, uh, not the hotels. Um, this hotel is not that fancy. <laughs> is it's nice. It's like a, a three star, I think, but it's it's not. I wouldn't call it fancy. It's it's nice. It's what I would expect out of an average hotel. Not necessarily the 30 person spot part, but the, the room, yeah. Kind of mad six hours of driving because you could drive from the bottom of England and go all the way to Scotland for that time of driving. That's so crazy because literally I'm still in the same state. I mean, given I made a giant L, so I went, you know, from the west to the east and then from the east up to the, the southwest. Or sorry, Northwest. <gasps> Hi, Silent. How are you doing, my love? Are you catching me at the very end? But I'm so glad to catch you. Uh, Puerto Ricans gonna do their own thing as long as it's away from me. <laughs> That's interesting. You don't like your own culture. Thank you, Silent. I've been working on posting more on Instagram. I'm trying to. I'm gonna try to slowly build back up and like post more. I realized like I stopped doing po like stories and posts, but I also realized like I, I started doing stories and posts again the last few days, and I've been getting more inquiry inquiries like an, uh, a notable increase in inquiries um, for work and projects. So I'm like, okay, I guess I'll start posting my life more again, and um, I want to get back to balancing that because I used to do that really well for a couple years, and after when the pandemic happened, it's like I fell off. I couldn't keep up with it anymore. I just got so stressed out with everything else going in my life that I dropped social media and never really recovered from that. Uh, that's why, like, my fan pages died. That's why um, I just, I didn't shoot as much as I just, um, for, for, like, trades and stuff like that. Um, but I want to get back into it. I'm feeling motivated. How long until I can access the Discord? You did the capture thingy. Um, I'm I'm not sure. I think there's well, you should. I think there's like a, a rule you have to like react to, like an acknowledgement page you have to react to in order to get that to get to little chat. What did you eat today? I have not eaten anything yet today. I took a bite out of this cashew coconut granola bar thing from that grocery store, but it looked a lot better than it tasted. So I stopped. You didn't even get a notification. I was live. Twitch is tripping. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. If you, maybe, maybe, um, if you turn on notifications for the discord, you should get a notification. It may be that the grass is always greener effect, but your life sounds so interesting. But I realize that I say that as a dude who split his life into three languages and world regions. Well, I guess honestly that makes me feel more flattered that, you know, someone who's so well-traveled and adventurous 
um, still finds my life to be interesting. So that's cool. That's a great, a, a really nice compliment. Thank you. Um, I think that's the thing I always go back to when I'm feeling down about things or I, I think the biggest feeling I feel right now is kind of lost in my direction. I don't really know what I'm pursuing or what I want out of my life. I'm just kind of like doing all these different things. I'm doing good at all these different things, but I'm not doing great. I'm not really excelling in any one specific area, I feel like. So um, I kind of want to work on that and, and find a better balance. But um, all of that to say is that when I look at it, I do have a really good life and I do a lot of things I never would have imagined. Um, if you would have told me that I would have spent, like, you know, that'd be going out of the country twice a year, you know, every year at least um, for years, at a, you know, years at a time in my 20s, uh, if you would have told me that, I'd be very surprised as, as a young person or a younger person. Uh, I wouldn't imagine having the life I have now, and I'm very grateful to have everything I have. Because it is, it is a magical life, huh? You can tell I put a lot of care into your photography. It's very top-notch. Well, I am very blessed to work with some awesome creatives, too, okay? Like, you know, they make me look, they, you know, they bring their part of the talent. What time is it over there? Go eat, don't wreck your tummy. It is 10.50. Yeah, I'm going to be, I'm going to get food in, like, 20 minutes. So don't you worry. Don't you worry. Bye, Rome. Have a great day at work. Thanks so much for kicking it. You kind of know what you mean about the lack of direction. Like you're staring towards something, but at the same time, you're kind of like, mm, why am I doing this? Where am I going? Yeah. It's like modeling is something I fell into. It wasn't something I like super pursued. And then, you know, as, as I got more and more inquiries, I was like, okay, I guess I'll make this a thing. You know, it's like, I always wanted to do, like, all the things that I dreamed of doing as a kid and, and cared about pursuing, I didn't pursue. And, um, well, I guess I did. I went to college for a little while. But, uh, and, and not to say that I've given up on anything, but um, I also, you know, as I get older, like, my thoughts change and my, and, like, you know, the way I felt about things change. Sometimes I don't, like, distinguish between, am I feeling the nostalgia of that or is that really how I feel now? If that makes sense. Can you see my souls? I only have one soul available right now. It is currently in me. Um, but you're welcome to sell me yours. And then I'll have two souls to sh show you. Greg, thank you so much for the resub. Wow. Nice to see you. I forget how many people we amassed in January. We did amass a, a lot of familiar faces in January. It was nice. Do I, t uh, do I take pictures of yourself? Uh, do, do you take pictures by yourself ever, like with a DSLR? I'm honestly, Rura, I'm like this close to like making an impulse purchase and buying a really nice camera because I don't have one and just shooting some of my own content. I'm this close, but it's also a really impulse decision and so I'm trying not to be impulsive, so I'm still teetering on it. Teetering on it, yeah. Similar, this whole IT consulting gig, you fell into it, and it's great and pays well, but other overall in other areas of life, it kind of is, okay, well, what next? And that question is kind of like, mm, yeah, I feel that. I feel you. Oh, Greg, you are a sweet man. Thank you so much for coming in for the resub and saying hello. It was a pleasure, and uh, enjoy your shopping. Get some good stuff. Ooh, if you find anything in my size, do you think it looks hot? Let me know. <laughs> A Kennedy 5? I have no idea. I don't know. I have to do research. That's part of the reason I'm being less impulsive is I know if I'm going to be impulsive and, and spend, you know, $1,000 on a camera, like, uh, make sure I spend $1,000 on something that I actually want and will use. You're the opposite. You kind of always had a direction, just had trouble heading in that direction. I feel like, mm, I don't know if I can relate to that. I can relate to it to some degree. I think because it's like, um, there are things I envision, like I'd love to do things with music and I am sure I, I can kind of see, you know, how I can make that work. But I think I also have trouble doing that. And I don't, I think for other reasons. Yes, Rua, don't worry. I do tons of research before I buy. Big, yeah, yeah, exactly. 
Well, guys, I love you all. I know I have to leave. And I don't want to, but I need to. I don't know when I'll be back on the stream. I'm going to kind of try to come back within a couple days. And hopefully with an announcement in advance. I know you guys like to catch the streams. I'm sorry I didn't make an announcement. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for all the things I should be sorry for. Sincerely, that sounded very jokingly, but I'm very serious. <laughs> very serious. Um, thank you guys so much. Um, I'll find someone quick to do like a quick raid. So then I can pack up my stuff and get on to food time. I think I'm going to go to the library to finish the stuff I need to finish. So I don't hog up this hotel space. Um, where am I looking? There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Um. Okay. There we go. We got the raid message in. I'm going to go ahead and boot this per uh, I wish I could, Vic. I really don't have, I really can't today. I really can't. I do have to go, but, um, I, we will definitely get you a read in. I promise you one of these days. There we go. It's nice to have a check-in. Glad you're doing fine. I'm sorry, the world's most boring person. You're not the most boring person. My passion is now and will always be games and software. You don't really work in those industries officially because you have to do whatever pays the bills. Well, I think with your bots and the, the visions you have and these things like that, that you probably could make it a reality more than more you think. Maybe like a slow transition, worst case scenario. But it's not impossible, my love. And then the other times when it's a very big, you just press the go button. <laughs> oh my gosh. I, uh, I don't know. Big, big purchases make me nervous. But everything keeps getting more expensive. So now all my purchases make me nervous. But <laughs> we figure it out. Mm. Thank you so much, guys. See y'all later.